This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Go. How's the media playing? Well, let's go to Matt Lauer first. Uh, he's going to be talking with Steve Farley. He's a Democratic state representative uh, from Arizona who knew Gabrielle Giffords. Let's see the spin on this. Clip number five. I mean, it's easy. The temptation is to say this is politically motivated in some way. But, but this young man, this alleged shooter, didn't only target a member of Congress. He shot a nine-year-old girl. That's not about politics. That's about insanity, isn't it? You're absolutely right. This is not no, about he's politics not. He's absolutely in any way. Wrong. This is about a, one deranged individual. But in a climate in which we demonize each other on both sides, instead of work together to both come sides. to a, a solution for all of our problems, if, if there's rhetoric that becomes violent and, and virulent, people who are already unhinged could be pushed over the edge, and we cannot have that happen. Steve, when you talk... So he gets a Democrat to say, oh, no, no, uh, believe me, both sides, just call it even. It's not about politics. He shot a nine-year-old. Yeah, here's who he shot first, the congresswoman in the back of the head. Then he shot her staff. Then he shot a judge. And then, as he was in the middle of shooting off his gun, he also happened to shoot, uh, or intended to shoot, innocent civilians, including a nine-year-old girl. That does not absolve him. That, I know Mount Lauer is not trying to absolve him of the crime. What he's trying to do is absolve the right wing of the hatred that they drive people like Loeffner to. No, 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 please, please, please call it even. One more for you. Uh, Joe Klein is going to, of Time Magazine, is going to be talking to Howard Kurtz on CNN, and they're both desperate to call it even, too. You've mentioned a couple of times uh, Fox News. Uh, MSNBC, we played earlier a clip from uh, Keith Oldman uh, bringing in Sarah Palin and Glenn Beck uh, uh, and Bill O'Reilly uh, in, in a way that I question, are they really part of this tragedy? And in your time column, you say that Oldman had more uh, than a few moments of solipsistic self-righteousness. Uh, oh, yeah. So it, this is not necessarily only a Fox News issue. Well, that, that brings me to point number two. It's really hard. We choose, uh, cable news chooses, not to really deal with complicated issues with the level of complexity that they, de they deserve. I was on Ed Schultz's show to discuss Afghanistan. I was just back from there. It is the most complicated issue imaginable. And the guy writes down on a piece of paper, get out now, and holds it up in front of the screen. That's so stupid. And it's so unworthy. And it really, you know, it's, it's one of the reasons why people hold us in lower regard than they do lawyers. All right, get a load of what happened here, okay? If you're just watching that one minute went by and you're like, what, huh? In the end, you got a sense of who's at fault for the shooting? Keith Overman and Ed Schultz. Ed Schultz pushed to get us out of Afghanistan so we have less war, less violence, less killing. That apparently is a stupid position, right? And somehow that means that all of cable news, both sides, are equally uh, guilty. By the way, we showed you just in this hour tons of clips, dozens of clips and quotes from their side in directly encouraging violence. How is Oberman related to that? Howard Kurtz says, well, he's self-righteous sometimes. And even if that were true, who cares? What does that have to do with this? Well, the other guys encourage people to kill people, but one guy is self-righteous and the other one makes simple points about Afghanistan. How do you call that even? It's because they're obsessed. They have to prove to the Republicans that they are neutral. It doesn't matter what the Republicans do. It doesn't matter what the conservatives do. Those guys will never call them out on it. They will always call it even. Even in the most extreme case here, where we have a Democratic politician shot in the back of the head. And still, they call it even because Ed Schultz wants to get out of Afghanistan and Keith Oberman is self-righteous. And they call the Schultz, et cetera, stupid for lack of logic? Are you kidding me? What kind of logic was that? It was grotesque. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. In fact, they have over 75,000 titles. And you can listen on your iPod or your MP3 player. You can uh, listen to it anywhere at any time. It's incredibly convenient. And they have books in every single genre imaginable. You can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Totally true.